us in that statement I want to execute that query okay so now whenever I execute this query this query will be executed and the result will be transferred to this RS object okay so in the next line what I'm going to do I will make a while loop because this RS object uh, gives the value one by one so I will use while and I will close this while loop here and I will copy this RS which is the result dot and then I will write next so this will uh, this will give me the result one by one and if you see here this method returns me boolean value that means until and unless this and next is true or until and unless we are uh, we are getting the values from the database this while loop will go on otherwise whenever this method will be false then it will go out of the loop right okay so in this while loop what I'm going to do is first of all above this while loop I will create uh, integer int count is equal to zero okay and this count I will in the while loop I will increase this count so I will write count is equal to count plus one you can use uh, other type to increment this like for example count plus plus so it depends upon you right for now I'm using count is equal to count plus one okay and then depending upon the count I get I want uh, to show the messages so this count I will tell you why I have done like that but I want to show the message on the basis of count first so if if this count is equal to 1 this will be double equal to right is equal to 1 then I want to show the message here I will copy this J option pane dot show message dialog in the if condition and I will I will say this one user name and password is uh, correct okay and else else if I get the count greater than one greater than one then I will say I have duplicate user and password I will explain you why I'm writing like this duplicate user and name and password and else else I want to show username and password is not correct so I will show the message username and password is not correct okay and I will also show you maybe some message like try again or whatever so why I have declared this count here is so once this query is passed and username and password it checks from on the basis of whatever I enter in these text boxes text box name for uh, the username and text box name for the password and it will go it will keep the result in this RS and whenever whatever result rs this this counter will increase okay so if only if uh, our result uh, so whenever we pass the query we get the result and if we get only one result that means it has matched the username and password because we only have one result uh, as a as a as a result that means it's a username and password is correct if we get no result then we say username and password is not correct 
but if we get multiple result greater than one that means there is some mistake there, there are duplicate username and password in our database okay so i will explain all these condition or i will show uh, demonstrate all these condition one by one when i run the program but the one of the most important thing is whenever you write a query and execute a query you need to close the connection after you execute the query so after this try catch block which you have written what you need to do is your you, your query is executed you get the result and after getting the result you need to close the connection with the database because sklite is only providing one connection at a time okay so there is a constraint with sklite you need to make one connection at a time with sklite database so after this try catch block at the end of this catch block you may write finally and then and finally you can once again write try and catch catch and in here you can close the connection in the catch or in the try sorry so in here i will write the exception which is which i will show you here once again this will be exception and in the try i will close the connection so i have created this prepared statement here right so how, how i can uh, close the connection if i have these outside these try block because it will not recognize if they are, they are in uh, side this try block because of the localization constraint okay so now i can use this prepared statement like this and if it's not showing unhandled exception okay so let's see do it here and instead of using this you can simply do one more thing which is more easier at the end of of this try block so just at the end of this try block and above this catch block what you need to do is you just write rs which is our result set rs which is this one result set object dot close and pst pst which is our prepared statement right pst this one dot close And what these two line will do is after executing your query they will close the connection with the database so that whenever you want to use this connection once again in the other method you are ready to use the connection and the connection is not open so these two lines take care of that now I will run the program and you see I have this database open here so I will show you what happens when this database is open I will run the program and I will say login.java ok first of all I will get the message connection successful that means I am, I am successfully connected to the database then I have uh, these username and password field and let's see what's there in the username and password so I have the username is equal to 1 for the first employee username is equal to 1 password is equal to 1 right so I enter this username is equal to 1 password is equal to 1 and you see here this my password is masked with this uh, dot symbol because I have used password field for that and I will click this login once again or I will li click this login button and what happens Java long array out of bound exception so I want to see what is this so I will pause the video and uh, I will see what the error is and then I will come back so I found the error which I am facing so in this try catch block 
if you remember I have written this query SQLite query then I have prepared uh, the prepared statement which is PST then I was uh, passing this uh, set string here PST dot set string and I was writing the index here right so index of the text field uh, username was one or zero and index for the password for uh, was one right zero and one so I checked it and this index start from a one not zero so this should be one and two okay so this index should be one and two not zero and one so username for index uh, username start from one and password will be two okay now when we run the program once again run the program connection successful let's see what username we have username one password one okay i'll write username one password one password is masked login username and password is correct because it matches the username and password from here now suppose we enter some random username which is not there in the database okay i will just click this and now you see the message username and password is not correct try again okay i will try again so if you see here for employee id 2 and employee id 3 i have duplicate username and password this i have done intentionally to check whether it uh, gives me the result duplicate the username and password so i have for employee id 2 2 username and password 2 and 2 and same for employee id 3 2 and 2 username and password so i'll write username 2 password 2 and let's see what happens i see i get duplicate username and password that means the username and password for employee id 2 and 3 is duplicate so they has to be changed so we have successfully created a login page using our window builder GUI application in Java and maybe in the next video I will show you some other useful uh, tricks for with uh, window builder so I hope you will watch the next video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now